Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I am so excited to be here today for our Lunch and Learn. I am Lauren Gates, and I'm joined by Rebecca St. James, the Executive Director of the Children's Airway First Foundation, as we will be referring, be referring to as CAF, C-A-F-F. Welcome, Rebecca. I'm so excited to have you today to learn all about CAF. Uh, there's so much to talk about, so let's just start from the beginning here, and why don't you introduce mm -hmm. yourself and tell us just a little bit about yourself and Kat. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm super excited. This is one of our first events together in our partnership. Very excited. Um, I have been with CAF from the beginning. We've been around for about two and a half years wow. now, and I'll get into our history a little bit in just a moment, um, but our focus, which is why we're such a good partnership with you, our focus is on the parents mostly, making sure they have the resources and the information they need to help their children with sleep and airway dysfunctions. And uh, while we do have information that supports our practitioners out there, that's part of our collaboration with you is because you know we can provide the information and Airway Health Solutions will provide all of the education. Wonderful. And I was so thrilled when you asked me to join your board. I know um, Dr. Kevin Boyd's on the board as well. Mm -hmm. He's on our faculty. And there's just so much we can do together because that really was the missing piece was our par our portal for parents. We really, mm -hmm. as I said, geared towards the professional. So when I found about found out about what you guys are up to and your mission, it was just a perfect, perfect match for us and uh, everyone out there. Uh, Rebecca and I will be like uh, fast BFFs because we have bi-weekly <laughs> and we have so many projects up our sleeve. So we'll have to have another lunch and learn to kind of report back on what we've been up to. But we just wanted to really establish that we're working together. We know there's a missing link in some information um, that's more patient-based, parent-based. So we, ho we hope to close that link together and then also guide parents on where to find airway dentists, myofunctional therapists in their area. So Rebecca, I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, CAF and your mission? Absolutely, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Sure, please. Um, because I, I really think uh, Ms. Lauren and I, I talked, instead of slides to me at this point, our website, says everything a slide would, would say. So I thought maybe this would be a great time to introduce everybody to our website. Um, so when you get there, you are going to see, as we mentioned, it really is very parent-based um, because we want parents to know that airway dysfunction, it actually starts in the womb. So we want to make sure that pregnant moms, new moms, moms of, as Dr. Boyd likes to call them, the geriatrics, the nine to 13 year olds, there is help for everyone and at every stage as a parent and a provider, there is something you can do to help your child with sleep and airway dysfunction. So before I get too far into it, I just want to introduce you to what started our cause, how we got interested. So these are our founders, Brad and Candy Sparks and their daughter, Savvy. And you know, when, when, and you can read the story in full, and, and I highly recommend it, as well as there was a, our very, very first podcast is with the Sparks, and they tell their story, and I will never do it the same justice that Candy does. It's actually quite moving every time I hear it, but, you know, she had a, a, a great pregnancy. Everything was fine. Um, the birth was great. She breastfed. She did everything she was supposed to, and at no point along the way, did anybody that ran into Savvy identify that she had an airway disorder? And that's really at the core of who we are because at birth, at birth, she could have been corrected with her high arch palate. I mean, she had all the signs, but no one looked in her mouth. No one was looking for these signs. So as Savvy developed along the way, as you'll see in her story, um, you know, her class two malocclusion, was there, which led to um, her being referred to Bill Hang. Um, and then Dr. Larry Wolford ended up doing PMJ surgery on her and several other things. I mean, along the way, they tried. But by the time she got to Bill Hang, I believe she was uh, in elementary school at that point or um, 12. She was uh, 50 to 80% blocked in her airway. And she had been going through life dealing with this. 
which led to a lot of uh, emotional issues. Um, she was having trouble focusing in school and she's quite brilliant. It, it just, it manifested. And she also had things that were adding to this, like the hyper Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and, and things of that nature. And so when she turned, you know, 18, she had already been through a suicide attempt, a number of surgeries to correct her mouth, to bring her jaw forward, everything they could do to open up her airway. And so now Savvy is 21 and she's still dealing with the fallout from this. Again, all I can say over and over again is this didn't have to happen to Savvy. It doesn't have to happen to the 400 million children around the globe. 95% of whom are just not diagnosed with these sleep and airway dysfunctions. So that is why we are here. And that is CAP's mission. We want every child, as we say within that first 1,000 days, that's the critical part. Let's catch them. Let's fix them before the age of six so that we don't have this, these kind of childhoods. And it leads to quite a few health issues as we're all aware of in adults. So that is our mission. That's, that's what CAP does. Um, for our parents, I'll just give you kind of a high level on the website. So, and, and, and again, I highly encourage everyone to check out our website when you have time. Um, one of the things I would like to highlight, we are very supportive of the airway community and the others that are out there rallying. We're all pushing in the same direction and we want to ensure that we're all sharing information and doing the best we can for our parents. So on working together, we have close partnerships, as you'll see, with Airway Health Solutions, Foundation for Airway Health, Sleep Education Consortium, and a Lifeguard Approach. Um, these are all groups that, that we work with very, very uh, closely. Um, but there's also some other groups we want to make sure parents know about on here. Well Spoken, the AAPND, which we're members of, AOSH, Airway Revolution, and the AAMS. Um, these are all great resources. Like I said, we're a part of, and we want parents to know, hey, go here for more information. And Rebecca, may I just interject here? That's yeah. really a, what I love about Children's Airway First Foundation is because it's so inclusive and it's just, um, you know, we just want parents to be able to go to one place and find all yes. the resources they need. So I love that you mm -hmm. work with the other charities. Um, the Foundation for Airway Health is near and dear to my heart. Airway Revolution mm -hmm. is up and coming. So it's mm -hmm. just a nice place to have a center eyes. And I think, you know, we're, we coined something, Airway United. I'm just going to throw it out there just for prosperity sakes and yeah. Uh, yeah work together just to again there's so many different wonderful charities that we can kind of resource and pull together to make it um easy to navigate so thank you for doing that absolutely absolutely and 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 speaking just I'll, I'll do a quick plug for them just so you guys are aware um airway revolution while they don't focus on children uh they're currently trying to collect data they need over 2,000 cases um if you go to their website you can record yourself, your patients, anybody. Um, and they're also, there's voting going on right now. They're trying to get a movie that they're working on shown at South by Southwest. Again, just to bring more eyes to the cause and get everybody pushing in the same direction. So if you have time, please go vote. Um, so one of the other things is um, August 31st, we will be launching something that I'm super excited about. As we go through, you'll see there's a lot of information here. August 31st, it's gonna be even easier for parents because we're gonna be launching the Parents Portal, which will have all of these resources for parents in one section of the website so they don't have to move around as much, as well as the Clinician's Corner, which will just be basic information. It will also be you know, directing uh, myofunctional therapists, dentists, pediatricians to the appropriate uh, resources so that they can get education and certification so they can work with these patients. Um, but you'll see, we actually started really, really focusing on airway specifically, which is why we have, you can see all the information to let parents know these are signs to look for. Um, you know, we, we really do try to keep it as, as, as uh, concise and clear as we can for them. But as we delved more into it, we realize, well, there's more to it. It's not just, you know, the obstructions, there's airway management and there's sleep health. They all go together. Um, so that's why we have these kind of sections broken out for parents. Our resources is really where the meat is though for parents. Um, we wanna make sure that 
we have blogs that give them information, everything from breastfeeding um, to nutrition to sleep health, um, as well as you know, questions to ask your provider. If you see these signs in your child and you go into your pediatrician who says, you know, they'll grow out of it, snoring's normal, these are questions to ask. You know, here's where you can go find an airway dentist that might be able to help you. Here's where you can go find a pediatric sleep specialist that knows what you're dealing with. This is the kind of information we're trying to provide for parents. Our podcast library, this started as just a way to get, again, information to parents. And as you'll see, I and mean, we've got all walks of life, everyone is represented here from myofunctional therapists to sleep experts, to nutritionists, to hygienists. And then we start to pull in ENTs. We have parents on here to share their story because what we're hearing from our parents is they just, you know, being able to hear another parent that's gone through this journey, it, it really, it's the support. So then we kind of shift it into, it's not just information, but it's let's support the parents. Um, and so we have all walks of life on there. That's our, our and it's Airway First is the name of the podcast. We're on uh, Apple, Spotify, all of the majors, if you would love to follow us. Our and just a library. Uh, yeah. Just to clarify, this is geared towards um, the parents and the patient, right? So it's not going to be Correct. over their head. Wonderful. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, and it's, and it's really interesting to me because we've had speakers on like Dr. Moralia for one which is wonderful. And he speaks in such a manner that parents really understand all the way to Dr. Felix Liao, who was, for me, that was a masterclass watching him. And it was, he got a little deeper. So that was, you know, more of um, medical professionals could understand it, but it was still engaging enough for parents. And we know that because, you know, they, they respond back to us. We have a video library and our video library, again, kind of to Lauren's point, you'll see these aren't our videos. These are all videos that we found, you know, that I found during research that Candy found during her journey trying to support Savvy. And we want to make sure, every, again, everything we can tell parents, we want them to really understand what their child's going through. What are the impacts? What are your options? If you're uh, orthodontics, comes to you and says, we're putting on retractive braces. That's, that's a red word, red flag, you know, stop, but here's why. So that you can have that kind of discussion with your child's orthodontist. Not just, you know, no, we want them to really understand why that's an issue. Um, recommended reading. We're always looking for information to share with parents. These are some of the books that we have read along the way that are great. Um, but it also kind of grew into some of our board members said, hey, this is a book that really helped me as a professional. That's why you'll see things like the dental sleep medicine book on here by Dr. Carsonson. It's not for parents, but we're finding more and more medical professionals are joining our, you know, our site, checking out information. So we want to make sure it's there. Um, articles and research. Again, this is information over the years we have found. Uh, really just to give parents more information on really how to ADHD and oral issues connect. You know, your child was diagnosed with ADHD, maybe, but how do you check to see if they have any of these other symptoms? Because perhaps it's an airway disorder, things of this nature. Um, just really more in-depth scientific research and studies, as well as some quick questionnaires that they can just download and just to see, does my child have these things? And then um, another section that we have here, this is where we start to support now the medical community. Again, everything on here, while it is for dentists, doctors' offices, myofunctional therapists for their, for their offices, it's still geared towards the parents. So I know that ADA, which we'll talk about, has a really great sleep brochure. This one is 100% geared toward parents. What do you look for? Why is this important? What questions to ask? And this is just something you could have in your office to give to them, uh, as well as these posters, which you will see behind me here. Um, because one of the things that we learned with Savvy, and now we've done research on it because of this, there is such a mental and emotional impact to children with sleep and airway dysfunction 
it's just not talked about. So depression and suicide is very high. Um, we also know that the Surgeon General made this one of his top priorities. So we want to make sure that's where this poster came from. We really want to support that, anything that we can do for that. So that's really the, the crux of kind of our website and where it is and how it's, it's geared for parents. And one of the things that we ask is, you know, hey, if a parent walks in and they have questions, send them here. Um, because not only will they find a lot of great research here, they'll also find things like our, our Facebook support group, which is called the Airway Huddle. Other parents coming together, sharing information. It is a private group. We do control who comes in and out of it. Um, it's not for parents to find cures. It's for parents to find support in their journey. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, I also want to bring up that you're not alone with these brochures. I, I find a great resource is the ADA airway brochure, mm -hmm. because I feel that coupled with the um, brochures that you have available, um, it's a home run because you get the validation from the ADA, ADA seal. And I know mm -hmm. that Dr. Carsonson and Dr. Gerald Simmons, uh, Simmons, Dr. Kevin Boyd, they're all working on this task force to really yes. uh, promote pediatric uh, airway health. So we're going to see more and more resources that, again, you can have um, on this hub to kind of have in one place. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. And you'll see that kind of information uh, when it launches on the 31st in the parents' portal and the clinician's corner. Because again, our one goal, get information out there in the hands of the people that need it and just save as many lives as we can. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And kind of to that point, by the way, if anyone is interested, um, both parents and medical professionals, and I will, I will caveat this with, you may see, you know, there's five myofunctional therapists on here and you're a myofunctional therapist and you think I can't add to the conversation. Yes, you can. Because the same message may be said by five different myofunctional therapists that are guests on the podcast, but maybe that sixth one says it in a way that it resonates with a parent that never heard it. So if anyone is interested in being a guest on the podcast, medical professionals and parents, um, just go to the website, click and join us. We would love you to be a part of the conversation. Wonderful. And I, I'm so glad that you're showcasing these podcasts because a lot of people don't know about them. And here you are, you put so much work behind it and there's so many nuggets and just seeing everyone in one place <laughs> is mm -hmm. really motivating for professionals and for parents, I think as well, yeah. that this isn't just a one-off fluke kind of a, agreed. a fad mm -hmm. agreed absolutely wonderful and then did you want to review um anything on the clinician's corner at this time or do you wanted to hold I'm off on that, that. Mm -hmm. i'm going to hold that and i encourage everybody that is on the webinar today please join us august 31st on the website they are both launching um and again clinician's corner um our main goal is really to support our partnership with Airway Health Solutions because that's what that's where the curriculum is. That's where the education is. But we just want to make sure that we are covering both parts of that, both groups now with uh, what we do on the website. Absolutely. We had some questions uh, mailed in, but a lot of these are more clinical questions that would be mm -hmm. uh, better geared to when we have our conversations with clinicians and experts on that. But there mm -hmm. is, uh, let me see if there's one question that came in. Um, I guess one is that one just came in. Is there a seminar for orthodontists who already address airway issues with parents and patients? Um, so I think all of our like conversations are coming from airway orthodontists that we have archived. So you can kind of get you know, feedback from how they do it, why they do it. Uh, and uh, we all have that in our, we have that archived in our library. Um, yes. All of the recordings are free on Airway Health Solutions. And I think you have our conversations linked to your videos, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct, yep. That's helpful as well. Um, we recently just had a master class with Dr. Kevin Boyd, Dr. Ben Moralia, Dr. Brett Christensen, and Dr. Steve Karstensen that is um, also on our website and our YouTube channel. Um, so that was a wonderful um, three hours of information that you that can hope. Fabulous. Thank you. I, I love that, <laughs> that master class. In fact, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. We're going to have another master class coming about um, 
Bruxism and night guards and TMD. There's so many mysteries and questions behind that. So we will be announcing that shortly. And I also know that you share that on your website. But Rebecca, mm -hmm. I always like to dive into, you know, we're all kind of part of the solution here and everyone can just do their part. Can mm -hmm. I ask you personally, what got you interested in airway health and, and joining CAF? Um, absolutely. It's, um, it's kind of a wild story. Um, it's one of those things you don't understand life until you do. And, you know, I, I grew up, my voice has always been low, never had an issue, never had any medical issues, anything, um, was athletic, was in band, uh, went to school. The plan was med school, um, kind of changed and ended up in the dot-com world, match.com of all places. I was one wow. of the original, yeah, the original 49 uh, hires there. So um, the world of online dating, you're welcome. And after spending several years there, really learning about marketing and website and web development and all of this, and, and I really enjoyed it, but it, you know, it was a job. And um, along the way, I traveled, moved around the country, uh, made some very close friends. And um, one day okay. after having my daughter, who's now 21, she was born the same year as Savvy. Um, and just out of nowhere, I started having breathing issues. And I can, I can this, this helps me empathize with some of these parents because I kept being told you have asthma. I kept saying, there's no way. I was athletic, I was in band, I, I don't have asthma. And we tried allergies, well, that didn't work. And it just kept getting worse and worse. And after two years, finally, somebody at Baylor was scoping me and she noticed something that was unusual and sent me to UT Southwestern in Dallas, um, alma mater. And they told me I had something called idiopathic subglottic stenosis, which is 98% women. It seems to show up after we have children somewhere in our thirties, between 30 and 50, there is no cure. And being idiopathic, you know, obviously none of us were ever intubated. So we're not in that group that gets scarring from that. But it's scar tissue that shows up in your trachea and it asphyxiates you. So they have to go in and remove it. Um, if you'd like to hear more, we did do a podcast on it it's with uh, Catherine Anderson. So, you know, I deal with this for years and years and years and years. I come to Michigan. I had to leave my home state of Texas because it was literally killing me with the heat and the ozone. I was having, uh, the last year I was there, I had seven surgeries in one year to try to keep it open. Came to Michigan. I'm now uh, being cared for by an amazing group at uh, University of Michigan. And while I was here, one of my closest friends in the world who I met when traveling the country called and said, hey, I have this friend. They're starting a foundation. They need somebody. And I said, you need Rebecca. And I met Candy and Brad and immediately fell in love with them and Savvy and realized I've now come full circle. Here's where my biology, my years in the dot-com world and my breathing issue are all gonna come full circle. And so wow. now it's my chance to help children not end up like me. And that's what, that's the way I start every day. Is, you know, I love the serendipity. There's always a story. There's always like a purpose, a drive, a calling, a mm -hmm. passion. And everyone who's on this webinar uh, today, thank you. Cause you also share that passion or else we wouldn't be yes. doing these, these lunch right. and learns because we wouldn't have right. uh, an audience. Right? right. So we're all part of the solution. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of these um, questions, like how do you get an ENT to remove tonsils and adenoids? Obviously, we can't give you those answers. Yeah. All we can do is give you the resources from experts who can have peer-to-peer -peer conversations. So specifically, I had that question asked a couple of times, our airway chat number 45 with Dr. J JJ, Dr. Um, Jahandran, uh, he has a wonderful hour conversation on the key to upper airway health. And that's coming from an ENT. So perhaps you want to do maybe a lunch and learn or just share that YouTube uh, with mm -hmm. an ENT in your area. I mean, you can only do what you can do. You can't make people understand. And a lot of it is just they don't know what they don't know. So Dr. Boyd right. is so gracious and you, uh, you know, deal with patience rather than frustration. You know, really, they don't know what they don't know. We can just try to give them the information. 
Um, and then all of these diagnostic questions, that's not what we're here for. We're not here to tell you how to get um, parents on board. That's really coming from our experts that between the both of our podcasts, I'm <laughs> sure we have pearls of information and there's really oh, no yeah. shortcuts to learning, unfortunately. You just got to watch them, share them, take away your pearls, uh, introduce them to your communities, because I didn't know about CAF until just a year ago, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I'm thinking, wow, if I knew about this sooner, how much easier it would have been to for help for me to help our doctors get the resources that are just sitting there on the shelf. So um, that was really the main right. purpose of today was to make sure that everyone's aware and then to support the Children Airway First Foundation um, so we can do more work together uh, and propel this forward. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit, Rebecca, about who's on your board, your advisory board? I think that's Absolutely. so impressive. Yeah. And, and before I, I forget, you mentioned something that I would just like to add to it. One of the things we say repeatedly on our podcast, and I've had to take this to heart as a parent too, because I've been that parent going, I miss this. My child snored. Oh my gosh. Please, 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 when working with parents, just remind them it's okay. You don't know what you don't know. Here's where we are now. Here's how we're going to help your child. So please, because there's so much guilt that the parents that we work with are carrying. So anything you can do, you know, focus on the child, help the child, but please love on those parents. They're, they're just, they're doing the best they can. So. Right. Yeah. Tell us about, tell us a little bit about your team and your, and your board. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'll, I'll give you a little bit about our team first, because um, that's the easiest. So obviously Brad and Candy, those are our founders. Um, Cam Strong, um, he's direct, he's a uh, director of insurance and advising. He has a, um, uh, a, a really great and an amazing career that he's had in the health insurance realm. So he's bringing a lot of insight to us with, you know, how do we guide parents? Um, how do we help support some of the professionals that are saying, I want to treat a child with this, but how do I get it through insurance? That's kind of where that's coming from. And then obviously Savvy is one of our key consultants because she is the reason we are here. She is what started this journey for all of us. Then myself and our social media manager uh, is Ryan Drawn. So that is our team. And our advisory board, I, I have to say, I mean, I will gush about them because they really are uh, just some of the best and brightest luminaries. And, and we are so honored that they are part of, of our board. So uh, Becky Andrews is in Austin. Uh, she is a naturopathic physician. Uh, and, and she's provided some really great insight, especially to uh, working with some of our, our, our moms and making sure that the moms and the, the new babies have the right nutrition, giving us guidance on that. Obviously, we have Dr. Boyd, who we love. Um, there's, there's podcasts and videos and things that, that you can um, listen to that we've done with him, so I won't say too much, but everyone knows who he is. And if I may interject, he, he really provides a wealth of resources and research oh my um, gosh. to really back up everything. So he's really like a backbone of driving this forward with the research that exists. I mean, uh, when you take Absolutely. his um, mini residency, he gives you like a folder of PDFs. He, he actually has them spread out all over. It's very impressive. And I'll but, tell you, um, several of those yeah. are on our website. And one in particular, mm -hmm. if you haven't already read it, it's under our, our, our resources, the Dunedin uh, yes. study. Phenomenal. It really will put things in perspective for you. Um, so I highly recommend that, that you check that out. Uh, Chris Duval and the, the world of dental hygienist is a name everyone knows. And and, and, she, loves. and, that's, and loves, absolutely. And that's you know, another thing. I mean, Chris really does for me embody, as, as does Dr. Boyd, but really everyone on our board, but the passion that drives the people that are involved with CAP and why we're here and why we give so much. Um, because she is literally on a mission to save the world and make sure every hygienist is now looking for these signs. Um, as she says, we're not just there to scrape tartar. Um, so she's all, she's, she's, she's amazing. Uh, John Finnegan, um, he is, supports us with public health, um, really is the driver, one of the two drivers behind all of our public health initiatives that we're working on. Because one of the things that we have discovered along the way, um, and I know Dr. Boyd deals with this, uh, deals with it, uh, addresses this once a month, 
with some of his work, inner city children are so underserved, uh, specific, it's really around airway and sleep, you know, because they have all of these, these things are contributing to their airway and sleep issues, the noise, the pollution, um, even to, you know, allergies that are caused by the apartments that they lived in or roaches or just whatever it is. So he's really one of our strongest advocates for that. And it really helps guide us when it comes to public health. Obviously, we have the wonderful Lauren, who is our down here. Um, Dr. Hall, I will tell you, if you haven't, if you don't know anything about cranial sacral, uh, I believe he is our second or third podcast. I think he's our third. Please go listen to it. It, it was one of the most interesting things. I knew nothing about it, but um, he brings in so much of the natural um, side of healing and really addresses for me, it's not just, it's mental as well as physical. Um, so he's outstanding. A great book that's in our resource library as well, The Seven Tools of Healing. Dr. Hang, he is one of the first providers. I, mean, I think everyone knows who he is. But he is one of the first providers that came in to really try to help Savvy and, and you know, re-steer the ship with her. Um, amazing knowledge. Dr. Dana Johnson is our second on our public health uh, guidance, guidance, I guess. Um, she's amazing. We have several papers that she has written also in our resources that I recommend anyone wanting to know the impact of public health and really how deep it goes as far as airway and sleep. Um, she's got some great papers. Check out our resource area, please. Dr. Cottigal is uh, just an absolute luminary in neurology, and he's one of the ones that's really driven at home for us, and it's the first 1,000 days. That's where we need to be focused. That's where we've got to really, really change how we work with children and pregnant moms. That first 1,000 days, that's your window. If we do it right, we're going to have so many children that don't end up in this geriatric 9 to 13-year-old age. Uh, Dr. Susan Maples, uh, she's actually here in Michigan. Um, I think she's a name that everybody knows because of her, her background. Um, and uh, we have a great podcast with her, which I invite everyone to go listen to. And if your parents are looking for a book, she has one of the three books that we always recommend, uh, Brave Parents. It is in our recommended reading list. Uh, Dr. Lim's Sleep, Breathe, Thrive. We recommend that one as well. Um, and then Sharon Moore's Sleep Rec Kids. So if you want to support your parents, those three books will give them everything they need. Um, Francine is, I just don't even know really where to start with her. <laughs> um, her wealth of knowledge is amazing. Um, from just really how airway works and, and really the, the whole oral complex and talking about curriculum and how we can reach up and coming dentists and pediatricians and hygienists. And she does have an, an international presence because she has offices in France and in Florida. Um, absolutely just brilliant, phenomenal. And of course, the amazing Sharon Moore. Uh, I think everybody does know who she is, and she will be sleeping or sleeping, speaking at the uh, sleep conference in Brazil this year. Um, James Nestor, the author of Free. Uh, Dr. Santiago, she is uh, up in the Seattle area, I believe, in the Washington area. Uh, has worked closely with Dr. Hang as she's come up and been trained. And when I tell you she has a fire, for uh, pediatric dentistry, she she has an inferno. She just sleeps and breathes, and every, every when she has a spare moment, she's getting more training, or she's off doing a webinar, or she's sharing her knowledge with others. It's truly amazing. Um, Dr. Simmons, um, he is a neurologist. He is in the Houston and Austin area. He's the one that helps guide us specifically when it comes to sleep and the impacts there. Um, and if 
by the way, I will go ahead and plug this conference. It is in April of next year in Houston with the Sleep Education Consortium. And then finally, the amazing Dr. Larry Wolford, who I think is kind of the same level with, with Dr. Hang. Everyone knows who he is, um, but he is absolutely one of the best down in Texas as far as TNJ and oral surgery. So as you can see, I mean, we really are truly fortunate and blessed with our board and we cover the gamut you know, of everything that we need to to help support parents. Right, and we're so appreciative of what you do. And I know that the purpose of this webinar was just to show everyone the resources to where you can learn more. Obviously, we can't teach everything in uh, half an hour <laughs> about airway. So that's why you did such a nice job of just having the resources of where to learn, how to um, access the resources, kind of the backbone behind it, the mission behind it, the advisory board. I love the diversity you have and just everyone's mm -hmm. different um, expertise coming together. So I'm so honored to be to be part of that and really look forward to working with this wonderful board. Um, is there anything else you wanted to say before I kind of wrap up with what's coming up on our end about Airway Health Solutions? Um, just kind of a closing remark or um, perhaps you know what you envision in the next year or so. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, first and foremost, I would thank everybody that is here participating today um, because you are the people that are going to change the course of how we treat children when it comes to sleep and airway. So thank you. Thank you for taking this initiative. Thank you for learning more. And please, please, please share this information, our website, with your parents when they have questions. And if you happen to see something that we're missing, and it needs to be added because parents are asking you, just shoot us a note, let us know. But like Lauren mentioned, we're here to provide information. It's not about us, it's about the parents, uh, on the, how, how we can support them. And just kind of on a personal one, I'm super, super uh, excited and honored to be working alongside Airway Health Solutions. And I'm very excited for the projects that we have on deck and for our Airway Palooza that's coming up in March. So oh thank my you gosh. so much. Thank you so much. And I know there are some questions. Um, one was actually about med uh, medical billing. I know mm -hmm. that's not a resource that I provide or you provide, but I highly recommend going to the Nearman Practice Management Group. They are wonderful. Uh, and uh, maybe, Rebecca, you can add that on there. People yes. are looking for resources. Um, Absolutely. People are asking just about our coursework, about where they can um you know, can learn more, but here is uh, your, the foundation cap and then the QR code, but everyone should have the website by then. Um, and we do have our mini residencies coming up and this is professional. So this is now doctor based on how a doctor become, can become an airway dentist. And then they are on our airway dentist locator, which is utilized um, immensely. I get posts every day, questions every day where they can find an airway dentist. So um, if you're looking for a dentist, you can go to our airway dentist uh, locator or the CAF website. Or if you are a dentist who wants to become an airway focused dentist, we do have our mini residencies with Dr. Ben Moralia, who I find I fondly refer to as the Mr. Rogers of airway, if you would, right? He just That's kind so of simplifies cool. everything. And um, he just puts everything so you can integrate his 30 years of experience into your clinical practice. So we have courses coming up September 15th and September 22nd. They are all virtual. And then we do have a live course October 6th in Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida, and then another virtual course for adults coming in um, November. I love this course. It's our advanced mini residency with Dr. Kevin Boyd. Again, uh, a prerequisite is taking Dr. Moralia's pediatric mini residency. And this was a prerequisite set by Dr. Boyd because he took Ben's uh, mini residency and he wanted everyone just to have that baseline knowledge with working with um, children on the older level, you know, when he says older, over six. And then he focuses on the real little ones uh, with fixed kind of bio block expansion appliances and removable bio block uh, expansion appliances and lets you know how to deal with um, the behavioral components and the parent consult. So it's a really wonderful uh, two-day course. That's October 7th and 8th. And Dr. Moralia will also be there um, joining as a special guest. So this is available uh, virtually. 
We have our advanced two-day mini residency with Dr. Ben Morelia. That's 100% virtual, October 13th and 14th, where you learn fixed expansion in older teens um, from, like, say, 12 to 19, and then a bracket and wire technique with springs uh, using the carrier system, SLX system, on how to do expansive techniques techniques with bracket and wires. So that's a must-see course if you already are an established airway dentist and want more tools in your toolbox. Uh, we love our Mayo courses. We love Team Mayo. We have really something for everybody. Uh, we do have our eight-week um, Mayo practice for the um, RDH. If a hygienist is looking for an intro course to become an oral facial myofunctional therapist, that'll start October 4th. Uh, if you prefer more of an on-demand format, we have that as well. So you can see we really have a, a, a menu here of different myofunctional courses that I do invite you to see our website, airwayhealthsolutions.com forward slash myo, and see what may be the best option for you, including our mini myo course, which actually Dr. Boyd uh, facilitated that happening because he demanded it. Uh, and it, it's been a sold out course with wonderful reviews. And then we have everything from our my, myo solo success, which is about business, to then if you wanted to merge Mayo into a dental office, we have that as well. So we always love your feedback. Anything you want to share with us of upcoming courses that you feel would be helpful for you as a new practitioner or an established practitioner, uh, please reach out for us. We are really excited about this program. This is our first um, orthodontic mini residency with pediatric airway orthodontics with Dr. Brett Christensen, who is an orthodontist for over 30 years and really has, has the same philosophy of Dr. Boyd and Dr. Moralia. So it was kind of a serendipitous, if you would, that we all came together. So he has so many pearls and is gonna be sharing so many videos of how he does things in his practice. That'll be September 29th. Uh, again, that's 100% virtual. And we all know and love Dr. Michael Gelb. Uh, he's kind of the TMD guru. So he's going to teach you how to um, incorporate TMD, uh, treat the acute TMD patient, getting them ready for orthodontics as the ultimate solution. So Dr. Moralia and Dr. Gelb work firsthand together for over a decade. And now Dr. Gelb is going to share with you how you can treat the acute TMD patient to get them ready for ortho. So that's a wonderful course, virtual October 20th. If you need a myofunctional therapist, you don't have one in your area, we don't want that to be a barrier. So we have a telehealth fun um, option with Brittany Sierra. And she's wonderful. So you can reach out to me if you need to, to get in touch with her. She's a wonderful resource for both children and adults. And Rebecca, this is so funny that you mentioned the Airway Palooza because that's when I first heard Candy stand up. Um, she was just so moved by, mm -hmm. I think, Dr. Moralia's case that was very similar to Savvy and really brought the, the house down with tears and chills and hugs and yeah, just yeah. amazing, amazing, amazing what we can do, what one person can do. And then when you collectively come together, the energy and the synergy is, is palpable. We really had yeah. a wonderful yeah. celebration last year and this year we're really happy to have Kath as our um as our our diamond sponsors so we can help uh fundraise and do things together more in the future and get everyone the resources they need uh freely so that would be mm -hmm. wonderful but look at this lineup I I mean I don't yeah. even know I, I can hardly wait uh, for this event. So um, we will be sending up um, a follow-up email to those who registered, and then uh, you can have payment plans if you want. We try to make it easy, and hopefully we'll see a lot of you at Collaboration Cures. Uh, we do have a coupon code. It's not too late to register. Dr. Boyd and Dr. Moralia will be speaking there, as well as all the other um, experts that you know and love in Airway. So there is our coupon code, uh, and our website, the website is AAPMD. Dot org. And here's just our doctor locator. Um, I think I may have missed that. Yeah. So we even have more dots here. I, I still don't know what's going on in Montana, but if there's anyone in Montana in the house, we need a couple of green dots there and Nevada, I believe too. So we may have one dot in Nevada, but you can see we, it all started with an idea and we're really thrilled to be able to um, share the knowledge and really propel airway health forward. And thank you for being part of our airway health movement. But once you take our pediatric mini residency, you'll be on the map and you will be getting new patients. It happens every day. Mm -hmm. And it, we're also mm -hmm. global. So we're trying to push that a little bit more. That's one of our agendas because children all over the world need to breathe, sleep, and thrive. 
We yes. invite you to join our Facebook group as well, Airway Health Meetup. Uh, it is private, but it's for all um, practitioners to uh, join us and let's talk everything airway. So we have resources and that can keep you updated uh, what's going on with CAF as well. So I think that was uh, pretty much a full hour. We're uh, up to the almost the hour, so you can get an extra 15 minutes. Um, just a couple of questions here. Jasmine, I see I can answer your question is you don't need a, a degree specifically uh, to become a myofunctional therapist. It's within your scope of practice if you're a licensed dental hygienist or speech language uh, pathologist or other ancillary um, healthcare professional. So it's just an adjunct um, under your current licensure, depending on your state. So there's no uh, myofunctional therapist degree per se. It's under your scope of practice as, as a healthcare provider already. Um, and the rest, I'm going to just, all these questions that are more technical, I'm going to get gear it towards the experts on the podcast um, that will answer it. We, we do appreciate everyone um, joining us today. And if you have mm -hmm. any suggestions for us, um, you can email me at info at Airway Health Solutions. Uh, Rebecca, what is your best contact information for people to reach out to you? Absolutely. It's info at childrensairwayfirst.org. Okay. And you know, I'm really excited for Rebecca. What? It, our next, our next lunch and learn when we're rolling yes. out and sharing out. Oh, all I, the ideas have. I had to tease it just a little bit, but yeah. we have good things and working with your wonderful board, our wonderful faculty, our wonderful mm -hmm. audience here. You know, we've, we're getting a lot of people signed up for our master classes and our lunch and learn. So I think we had close to 200 registrants today in the middle of the afternoon. So you guys keep showing up. We'll keep providing the resources you need and together we will make a difference. So thanks again, Rebecca, please give my regards to uh, Candy and, um, and the rest of the organization and you'll be hearing from us soon. Take care, everybody. Right.